Happy Monday everyone, this is Martha with Nature Niche. And since today is the last day of the Great Backyard Bird Count, I thought it might be helpful to give you an overview of the species of woodpeckers most commonly encountered in Michigan to help you with your bird ID for reporting your observations. Um, I'm gonna show you photos from Cornell Lab of Ornithology's library. That's also a great place. It's just a wonderful resource. It has lots of photos, videos, and they also have the sounds of the different woodpeckers. So a great place to learn more about these species. So I'll provide a link to that resource in the uh, YouTube post notes. We have over 300 woodpecker species worldwide and over 20 species across the United States. Um, in Michigan, we have eight species that are, are most commonly encountered. Those include downy, hairy, red-bellied, um, pileated or pileated, depending on how you like to say it, red-headed, and black-backed woodpeckers, as well as northern flicker and yellow-bellied sapsucker. So I'm going to take you through them roughly from small to largest in size and uh, help you with your identification characteristics. First up is the downy woodpecker. This is the smallest of the North American woodpeckers. It's about six inches long and it can be found year round throughout the state. It has a very short bill that's less than half the length if you were to draw a line from the base of the bill straight back to the back of the head. Its upper parts are mostly black with a white band down the back and it has a white breast and belly. It has bold white spots on the wings and dark spots on the white outer tail feathers. Um, its head is striped black and white with the males having a red nape at the back of the head and um, the females um, are lacking that. And uh, I like to say this one is about or maybe a little bit smaller than a regular suet cake. That's a good rule of thumb when watching them on your feeders. They like to eat insects, uh, finding those in the bark of many kinds of trees. They'll also come to feeders with suet, um, peanuts, and sunflower. I've also seen them um, on Niger feeders, especially when I'm feeding Niger mixed with uh, sunflower chips. And they will occasionally come to hummingbird feeders. Here's a male downy woodpecker. Um, working on this double suet feeder so you can see he's about the size of one of the suet cakes and then uh, there's the female lacking the red uh, nape. So cute little woodpeckers that you'll often see at your feeders. Next up is the yellow-bellied sapsucker. This species is about seven to eight and a half inches long about the size of a robin. They breed in the northern two-thirds of the state and um, then they migrate through the southern third going to and from uh, their, their wintering grounds um, further south. So this is the only woodpecker species in eastern North America that is completely migratory. The males have a red crown and a red throat patch and the females only have the red crown. They have a white throat in contrast. The upper parts are black with white spots down the back. They have vertical white wing patches that are visible when the wings are folded. And the under parts are white to pale yellow. Um, they're not really regular birds at your bird feeder, but you'll occasionally see them on um, suet feeders. I have never had one um, at mine, so I don't have any live footage, sorry. Here's a great side-by-side -side, um, similar species comparison. That's one of the things I love about Cornell's All About Birds website. There's a downy woodpecker on the left with the yellow-bellied sapsucker on the right. So notice the difference in the patterning on the wings, along the back, and where uh, the red is located on their heads. So much more red 
on the um, male yellow-bellied sapsucker. Sapsuckers drill holes in trees called sap wells. They particularly like birches and maples, and they feed on the sap with their long tongues. They'll also eat insects that get trapped in the sticky sap um, and the soft cambium tissues of the tree. And these sap wells um, are also used by hummingbirds, other bird species, bats, and porcupines. The third Michigan woodpecker is the hairy woodpecker. It is approximately seven to 10 inches long. It is found uh, year round throughout the state and it is very similar and can be difficult, especially for beginning birders to tell them apart um, from downy woodpeckers. They are bigger and I like to use that suet cake as a rule of thumb. They are bigger than a standard suet cake and their bill is more than half the length um, of their head, measured from like an imaginary line from the base of the bill back to the back of the head. Um, they have unmarked uh, white outer tail feathers where the downy has black spots on theirs. Um, and they, they are tough to tell apart, especially at a distance. Um, but I love this particular shot um, from the Cornell Library, you can see the, the comparison with the downy on the left and the hairy woodpecker on the right. You can see bill length differences in overall size and those tail characteristic differences. Hairy woodpeckers will uh, drink sap from sap sucker wells um, and they will follow larger pileated woodpeckers around investigating their holes for insects that they might have missed. So here's an example of a male hairy woodpecker. Um, you see, similar to the downies, the males have the red on the back of the head. And you can see this one is clearly bigger than that standard suet cake holder, just to get a sense of size and the length of um, the bill being longer than uh, half the width of the head. And then here's a female hairy woodpecker, and you can see, um, just for comparison, she's over half the height of um, my double suet feeder. So larger bird, uh, longer bill, otherwise quite similar to the downy. Next is the red-headed woodpecker. This species is seven and a half to about nine inches long, and it breeds in the northern two-thirds of Michigan and is found uh, year-round in the southern third of the state. Um, it has a completely crimson red head, uh, black upper back, um, and then broad white wing patches and a white breast and belly. Uh, very striking um, color pattern, um, I think very a very chunky pattern, um, and they have large chisel-like bills. Um, you can tell the males from the females. They have the same color pattern. And the dull bird on the right is a juvenile, but you can see it still has those big blocky white wing patches. This species is now designated as special concern in Michigan. It is rare. Um, and it's really important if you see this bird nesting um, to report those nest sites to Michigan Natural Features Inventory when you um, spot them during the breeding season and sightings to eBird. Um, the species is known to occur in the Midland, Michigan area. I've never seen it, but have neighbors um, who have. It's less common at bird feeders um, but sometimes it will um, come eat peanuts and suet and fruit and um, tuck those treats away in nearby trees to eat later. Um, it is a very skilled flycatcher among the woodpecker species and it prefers open woodlands and widely spaced mature trees over closed canopy forests. So that's part of why it's rare um, because of loss of habitat due to fire suppression and the closing in of our forest canopies. It really needs um, savanna 
and Barron's habitats. And this photo is of one up on a snag um, in Oak Barron's habitat on the west side of the state in a Carner Blue Butterfly Sanctuary. Next is the red-bellied woodpecker. Um, this one is about nine inches long as well, uh, medium-sized woodpecker. And it is a year-round resident throughout the lower peninsula of Michigan. It uh, is black and white barred along its back uh, with a pale belly that has a red wash to it. Um, the males have a red crown and nape, while the females um, have a red patch at the base of the bill um, and then a grayish crown and then a red nape. So that red color is interrupted in the middle. Um, they'll often, um, my customers will confuse these with the red-headed woodpeckers that I just talked about, the rare species. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. See the full red head on the red-headed and um, the red crown and nape on the male red-bellied woodpeckers. Uh, this particular species is common at bird feeders. It'll come for suet and peanuts and sunflowers. Um, it'll also sometimes drink from hummingbird feeders, and it caches nuts and other food um, items like the other woodpeckers do. Um, it'll also wedge nuts into bark and then whack them into more manageable pieces. So I like this video because you can see that red wash on the belly. But they are very pretty striking, um, pretty complicated um, woodpecker pattern. Next, we have the black-backed woodpecker. Um, this is another approximately nine inch long species. It's one I haven't seen yet. Um, it is a year round resident of the upper peninsula and the central tip of the mitt um, of the lower peninsula in Michigan. And um, it's a medium sized uh, woodpecker with a solid black back, um, barred flanks, and it has uh, small white spots on the wing edge. And it has a white throat um, and underparts. Um, and sometimes those um, look dingy gray from the birds feeding on recently burned sooty trees. Uh, they also have fully white outer uh, tail feathers. The male has a yellow crown patch with a single white cheek stripe, and the female has a black head with um, a white cheek stripe, but no yellow coloring. Um, they have three toes instead of four toes, which is more typical of our other woodpecker species. And it is a specialist in um, burned forests. Um, also in unburned forest where they forage for wood boring um, beetle larvae. Our seventh species is the northern flicker. This is about an 11 to 12 inch long species. Um, it occurs year round in the lower peninsula and it breeds in the upper peninsula. Um, and it is a large brown woodpecker um, with uh, the eastern ones being yellow shafted and the western ones being red shafted. These different color forms uh, were once considered two different species um, and they do hybridize. Now, now considered a single species, I'm gonna talk about um, the eastern yellow shafted uh, form. It's a uh, brown to tan bird with a solid black bib and um, dark spotted uh, breast and belly. It has yellow shafts on the flight and tail feathers. The males have um, a gray crown with a red nape and um, black whiskers or a mustache. The females um, also have the, the gray crown 
uh, with the red nape, but they do not have the black whiskers. They have more of a peachy brown face. This is a photo of a female northern flicker who unfortunately um, hit my window last summer. Um, I found her on her back with the wind really knocked out of her, but you can see there she's lacking that black um, whisker mustache. And here's a nice look at um, that back plumage, the red nape, the gray crown. Uh, you can see a little bit of the, um, the yellow shafts and uh, just the size, the size of the bird. They are pretty significant. We hung out till she caught her breath and flew away. So here's um, a male uh, northern flicker. I think he puts his head back here in a second. You can see those blast black whiskers on his face. So um, they do make use of um, suet feeders. More often they use their unusual uh, slightly curved bill to dig up ants and beetles from the ground and the leaf litter. Um, in this case, this one was picking up uh, suet crumbs that, that he had dropped. Um, so you'll often find them foraging on the ground. Uh, they're not super common at feeders, but they will occasionally visit um, suet fruit, sunflower, seed and um, niger and safflower feeders. They're more common in backyards, just foraging on the ground, along the woodland edge, um, and at bird baths. And last but certainly not least is the pileated, or some folks say pileated, woodpecker. Uh, this species is approximately 16 to 19 inches long. It is um, the largest of our woodpecker species and one of the most striking forest birds in North America. Um, it's found year round in the lower and upper peninsulas. It is less common in the, the southeastern corner of the state um, and it is nearly the size of a crow. So it has a large heavy bill um, and a mostly black body with uh, white stripes on the face that then run down uh, the side of the neck and a bright um, crimson red crest. They also have um, large white underwing patches that can be seen in flight. Uh, the males have a full red crest and a red um, cheek stripe or mustache. And the females have um, a gray black forecrown and then um, the bright red crest. Um, and they have a black cheek stripe. So here you can see a male pileated woodpecker um, foraging on a maple tree in my yard. Um, they will come to backyard feeders, especially for suet, and especially if those feeders are um, size large enough so that they can comfortably cling on and prop or balance with their tail. So I love the feeders with the, the props on the bottom. This is a female. You can see she has that black four crown and then the red, red crest. Um, and then here's another male with his red uh, cheek stripe or mustache. So they'll also eat uh, mealworms and peanuts and sunflower seeds and uh, natural food resources. They especially like carpenter ants and they will um, dig these characteristic uh, rectangular um, holes and these excavations can be so deep that they may eventually cause tree failure from breakage. Um, and they are often um, visited by other birds seeking out um, insect food and uh, their nest cavities provide suitable shelter for many other wildlife species like swifts, owls, ducks, bats, and pine martens. So I hope this uh, Michigan woodpecker rundown helped you with your identification skills. Happy uh, last day of this year's Great Backyard Bird Count and have a good week.